Okay, let's continue with example five. Identify transformations from an equation. What transformations of f of x equals x squared result in the graph of the function g? So you can see that f of x is um, the quadratic function in blue in the graph here. Part a, g of x is equal to negative parentheses 1 over 3x parentheses squared. So you can see that there is a negative sign that wasn't in the original one, right? And then negative, uh, no, 1 over 3 that wasn't in the original one. So um, you want to find the changes in terms of function. Is it partly, is it inside the function? Is it part of the equation or is it outside the function? Do we get the function? So do we get the y values first and then we make the changes, okay? So your parent function is x squared. So if we are changing um, our x values, we probably want to do it before the square, right? And then um, your y values are, uh, are the result of um, x squared whatever your x is. So if we want to change the y values, we would get the x squared first and then figure out um, the next one. So um, if you look at the negative, the negative represents a reflection, always. Negative re represents reflection, but it depends whether the negative is inside the parentheses or outside a function um, to see if it's a horizontal or a vertical movement so that you're reflecting across the x or y axis. So um, this negative is outside the function, which means your y values are going to change. That means we're reflecting across the x axis. If we reflect across the x-axis, x, uh, x values don't change, but the y values do. They all become opposites, okay? So it's a reflection uh, across the x-axis, and it's a, there is a factor of one over three. And negative, Let's write that down. The negative sign represents the reflection, represents reflection across the x-axis because it is outside the function. And then the 1 over 3 is inside the square, right? So it's in the function. We're multiplying x by 1 over 3 first, and then we're squaring it. So that represents a horizontal movement. The factor of 1 over 3 represents a horizontal stretch because 1 over 3 means... Um, for less at values of x, you get bigger y. So since we're looking at the function in terms of y, you're getting a bigger y values, right? Um, I mean, yeah. So then it's a, a less, less y values, sorry. So then if you get less values for x and you get you get more values of x um, and you get less values of y. That means um, you're horizontally stretching. Vertically, it looks like it's compressing. So vertical compression and horizontal stretch may look alike, look the same. The horizontal stretch of, um, of 3. Okay, let's look at part B. G of x is equal to parentheses x minus 4 and then square plus 5. So from x square, what has changed? The negative 4 
and the positive 5 outside. Negative 4 inside, positive 5 outside. So you know there's going to be ho both horizontal and vertical movements, right? So negative 4 represents a translation, horizontal translation. Translation of four units to the right. And positive five represents a vertical movement. Translation of five units up. So let's look at try number five. What transformations of the graph of f of x equals absolute value x are applied to graph the function g? So your parent function is absolute value x. Can you identify the transformations looking at the equations? Pause the video and come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? So from um, comparing your equations from the parent function to g of x, you have 1 over 2 and plus 3 that are the change factors of your part A, right? So you will have two, two transformations. 1 over 3, is it a vertical movement or horizontal movement? Is it a vertical change or a horizontal change because it's outside of the function that is a vertical transformation. What is it? What transformation is it? It's a vertical compression. 1 over 2 represents a vertical compression by a factor of 1 over 2. Okay, this is part A. And positive 3 represents, that's inside the function, so you're changing x values. So it's a horizontal translation, which side? To the left. Remember, your horizontal translation is represented as x minus x minus a number. Okay, so if the number is positive, you have a x minus that positive number. Okay, so positive plus 3 represents negative 3 of a number. So positive 3 represents horizontal translation of left 3 units. Horizontal translation left 3 units. Okay. What about part B? So you see that the negative sign is a change factor and plus 2 is a change factor. And they're both outside a function of absolute value. So the negative sign represents reflection across the x-axis. And Positive 2 represents translation up to units. It's a vertical translation.